So in this video, I wanted to do a quick review of a pen called the Baron Fig Squire. This is a rollerball pen from a company called Baron Fig. And the pen is surprisingly popular despite being not very cheap. It's $55 or starts at $55 and not coming from a major pen brand. Baron Fig uh, was a brand that launched off of Kickstarter and now mostly makes paper products. They make this rollerball. So again, company's Baron Fig. The model is the Squire and the sub model, these are sold in a bunch of limited editions, is the Error 404. But that just has to do with the color. So this is the base model Baron Fig, which is aluminum. Uh, there's another model that's brass at $75 and then a copper model is 85 and then a steel model is 95. So these are not cheap pens. And it is a rollerball, not very big, no clip, twist mechanism, and it runs a Schmidt refill, which I've talked about pretty extensively, and we'll get into in a minute. It comes in this package here. It's a cardboard cylinder. It looks pretty cool, uh, and this just sort of protects the pen like this. It's just a gifty case. It's probably not something uh, you know, you'll need to keep, but it's nice enough. The pen itself has some really nice qualities and also some uh, real serious design trade-offs. First of all, we can see that it's not very big. So this is one, two, three, four, about five inches long. And just like comparing it to something standard, uh, like here's a preppy, platinum preppy, you can see much larger. Here's like, I don't know, a pencil. It's not a big pen but has some cool stuff going for it. It's a nice weight, even the, in the aluminum, it has a nice heft to it. Uh, if you move up to the other models, like the brass, copper, or steel, it gets even heavier, but has a nice weight. You can see it has a taper, so it actually goes from skinny to fat at the bottom, which I actually really like. And a few different pens use this design, and I think it adds a lot of comfort to it and makes the pen feel more accurate, because you're more of your weight it's distributed towards the bottom. If the too much weight is at the top, I find the pens to be really uncomfortable. So I like that it has this downward taper. It also makes it more comfortable because there's a little bit thickness of extra thickness down here. Again, no clip, which I think is the number one reason why people don't buy this pen. Uh, it's also, like I said, it's expensive starting at $55. At the top, we could see that there's the twist mechanism and this twists and locks it out, it will return. So if it's not fully engaged, it will return, which is very cool. Uh, so very simple there, just the two pieces. It's really interesting here because this, these are different pieces. So it's like the smallest little fraction of a millimeter misaligned. And I don't know if that's popular, but you could just barely see it at the top. It's just a little bit off right there. You can see it with my fingers behind it. And again, I don't know if that's a popular issue. Like it has a micro millimeter of, uh, you know, difference between the two. That's maybe happens all the time. Maybe it's just impossible not to do, but uh, I thought it was interesting and kind of half the time doesn't bother me, which is so small. The other half the time it drives me absolutely wild. The model I bought, or the limited edition sub brand or whatever it is. Like normally this is black, but I bought the one called the uh, 404, which is blue and has a really nice matte finish, kind of a powder coat type finish. I really, I like the texture. And uh, to get into the pen, you, you twist it one way to lock it. If you twist it the other way, the pen unscrews. So that's very simple. We can see inside that appears to be a stainless steel piece, really nicely made. And inside we have this. So this is a Baron Fig branded refill, uh, but we could tell from the shape that it's very clearly a Schmidt. And uh, I'm not sure if it comes in a 0.6 or a 0.7 millimeter, uh, but that would just be the P, right? Which is a short rollerball refill and then 8127 or 8126 Schmidt refill if you needed to buy these uh, and you didn't want the Baron Fig branding for whatever reason. And there is a spring. The spring is 
recessed into the rollerball refill, which is uh, how these rollerball refills work. Put it, put it back in and twist it down and it's good. So I would say it's a really nicely made pen. Very good, like comfort and fit and finish are all great. I mean, there's this little, little thing here with a slightly imperfect tolerance. You can see it there. Uh, not a huge deal and I could probably push it back. But anyway, past that, it's a really nicely made pen. It is a little small, but it is pretty comfortable as well. It's more that it looks visually small than it is too small to use. This is an okay size. I like the downward or the, you know, the lower bottom. I think it's very cool. This piece appears to be, you know, there's clearly two pieces here, but I don't think the nose piece comes off. I haven't twisted that hard because I don't want to break it, but it does not appear to be serviceable. Again, no clip, which is like a very odd decision for me because it's just, I mean, it's a pretty flat desk, but it, your pen just tends to roll. It's, it's a little bit infuriating, but if you don't like it, I guess just don't buy the pen because you can't put a clip on this, you can't put it any, with any of those clips we made of sprung steel and putting a steel thing on an aluminum is just gonna tear up the aluminum. So uh, pretty nice pen overall, uh, but it is expensive, right? $55, so a lot of people are looking for alternatives and I wanted to get in some interesting alternatives. The number one alternative is this pen. This is the Retro 51 Tornado. And this pen's really interesting as a comparison or alternative to the Squire because just check these, like on paper, the two are extremely similar. And let's like run through some of those reasons why. First of all, they're both short. So they're about the same size. Next, the Baron Fig uses a downward taper where the bottom, the writing area is wider. The Tornado uses the exact opposite. So it's top heavy, it has a top words taper. So. If you like one or like the other, you could really easily choose. The Tornado also has a twist to extend rollerball. So you twist the top and it extends. The mechanism is not the mechanism is not as nice as the Baron Figs, but it functions the same way. Next, the Baron Fig, as we noted, uses a Baron Fig branded Schmidt refill. And check this out, the Retro 51 uses a Retro 51, a Retro 1951, branded Schmidt refill. So if what you're trying to get is one of these ex uh, really excellent Schmidt refills in a pen, like you just want a great rollerball, and what defines a great rollerball often is does it use a Schmidt refill, then you could buy this pen. And the Tornado sells for about 20 to $22 for a standard model like this Stealth. So if your main Focus is having the refill. This is the pen to get. I actually don't like writing with this pen. I find it to be very uncomfortable and top heavy. And I think it actually doesn't look that cool, but uh, great refill. This one also, as you can note, has a clip. So it's kind of like Baron Fig made all the opposite decisions that Retro 51 made. Uh, it would almost seem like they just made, like if, if Retro 51 went right, Baron Fig across the board went left and ended up probably having uh, a really successful pen. Some other alternatives I think are worth noting because the Retro 51 is good, but it's really not my favorite. Uh, you could check out this pen. This is called the Energel Philography. And uh, it's about the same price as the Tornado. This one would sell for about, I don't know, $15. It's also a twist pen. And this one uses the Energel kind of rollerball style refill. Uh, definitely in the same class as far as build quality and has that sort of return, that self return, which is very cool. But this pen is definitely, uh, it also has a metal body like these two, which is very nice. Uh, but this is kind of more of a traditional pen. Just check out the size difference of a traditional kind of executive pen versus these two. It has like a good half inch on those. But this is the Energel Philography. Another nice alternative that I would say would be my pick in this class is this pen. This is the Pilot Acro Drive. Uh, so just look at what you're getting with this one. Uh, like all these pens, it's twist to extend. 
This pen has more of a classic executive styling, but it is all metal body. This one also tapers downward like the Baron Fig. It's even more of a dramatic taper, like the waist to largest point is more so, more extreme than the Baron Fig. Again, all metal body. It has a clip, which is just mandatory for a lot of people. And this one runs or uses the Pilot Acro ink. And that's the Pilot equivalent of the Jet Drive. It uses a slightly weird refill, uh, but it's not like impossible to find online. It's just that you won't be able to get it at your local store. And I use in this refill, I have the BRFN 30, which is a pretty nice refill, but there's a few different options. And I've talked a lot about the different refills in that class in previous videos. So again, I really would highly recommend this pen, the Pilot Acro Drive. And this one sells for about 20 to $25. So in summary, I think the Baron Fig Squire is a really nice pen. I think it's kind of a gifty pen. You know, dollar for dollar, I don't think it makes a whole lot of sense, but it is a lot of fun to use. It's really nice. Uh, it is quite cool looking. It comes from a pretty cool brand and it comes in these special edition models that I know people love to co collect. Some of these ones will sell for over $100 on eBay just because like, oh man, I missed out on the green one, whatever it is. I really want that. You know what? It's no longer made, so you gotta buy it for uh, over $100. But cool pen, not sure it offers a whole lot of value, but at under $60, it's not like it's gonna wreck you if you need to, if you just need one. But there are some better options out there, I think. We can quickly do some writing, so I know people like it, uh, but there's not a whole lot to see because we have used this Schmidt refill so often in the past. I've done maybe 15 videos featuring it. So it's just a great refill. This is the Schmidt. I believe it's the P8127, but it may be the P8127. Six and I really like it in blue. It's a great blue. And again, this is the Squire. The fact that this is the Squire 404 model, that just means it's blue, right? Like a 404 screen, uh, you know, like a, it's actually like a, the, the 404 screen isn't blue. It's the Windows crash screen that's blue. 404 is an error response code from the web. So they kind of messed that up, but I didn't want to split hairs. Uh, you know, sometimes things crash and sometimes it can be blue. So this pen is blue and it uses some funny stuff. Four or four screens are generally not blue, whatever. The pen I would recommend is this Acro Drive, Pilot Acro Drive. And this is that Acro ink, which is a Jetstream-like hybrid ink, super quick drying, really nice for lefties. It's a thinner line, but they do have uh, a fine and a medium. This is the fine, there's a medium. It's actually a broad is what I meant to say. If you want something more like a roller ball, we're gonna lay down a heavier line. This is the 8127 is on the finer side of the roller balls, but just being a roller ball with a water-based ink, it's gonna put down more ink. On the paper, just do a wider line. And the last we have the, uh, this is the Retro 51 Tornado. And this one will write just like the Squire because it's the same refill. So there you have it. Everything you could ever want to know about the Baron Fig Squire Rollerball. Thanks for watching.